guys welcome to another Ask Lender. So in this uh, Ask Lender what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about drip content and what it is. So drip content is basically when a user enrolls you drip a certain section to them and then you release the next section on a date that you specify. So let's go in and I'll show you how it works. So inside my course the quick start guide to Zendler here this test course uh, we're going to go into curriculum and I'll just show you what happens I have three sections okay and I have what over here drip let's go into drip and you can see with drip schedule you can easily time release your content so that not all of it isn't immediately available after they enroll you can drip your courses by sections by enrollment date or specific dates course content drip is always great to get both retention and engagement so let's just enable it so it gives us our three sections so release after zero days from enrollment so this is from enrollment date so if they enroll and it's zero it will be released to them straight away okay you can set this to what you want so if they enroll and you want it to start on a specific date if you've opened your enrollment date between certain times and you want the course to start at a certain time you can actually go in there and specify it inside here you can also send a notification email as well so I'm going to say for instance this one is going to release straight away the next section after they enroll is going to actually release one week later so I'm going to put one in there this is from enrollment so the third one is going to be the third week so I'm going to put in here and put two so now they're going to join and they're going to have access to this part straight away one week later they're going to have access to this and two weeks later they're going to have access to this making three weeks first week second week third week and that's it all you need to do then is save the changes you can apply it to existing students if they're already in there if you don't want to apply it to existing students so only to new students coming in you can click no so you might have to do this a few times with this so put it in once hit here I'm not applying it to existing students two weeks and apply there we go not to existing students so this is now set up with drip so when they come into the curriculum they'll see this content straight away and then one week later they'll see this so if I just log in I can show you that it doesn't access this because you've got drip turned on so I'm logged in as a student now and if I come into this course you can see that I can actually start all of these because I've been in the course for more than two weeks more than two weeks so I've got access to these um, I haven't got access to these so I'm going to reset myself as a student so I'll only get access to this first pass I'm now just enrolled and if I go and start any of these I'm going to go straight into this like that however if I try to go into section 2 here and click start it's going to tell me that it's locked and it'll be available after one week okay if I try and go into section 3 down here and I click start again it's going to say two weeks so this allows you to drip content out to your to your students now with drip if you've got drip set up in multiple courses and you've got those courses in a bundle then you can enable drip so it still works inside of a bundle as well so individual courses or those courses are in a bundle you can still set drip to work so that is drip dripping content now remember also that you can enable this with automation as well so you can send automated emails to go out but this is all about drip content and that's it